guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jeannie. Smiley Derivation or Smiley DRV, whichever one you would like to call it. On today's video, I just came back from the animal shelter where I'm adopting um, my new kitty cat, my dog Odie, that I had only had for uh, about four months that I got from the same shelter. She passed away, and so I was like grieving pretty hard because I was very attached to her, even though like I hadn't had her for very long. And I also have an, a cat, Garfield, that I had before I got. Odie, but since Odie passed, I didn't want to get to a stage of grief where, like, I was shut down to, like, having other animals, which is where it was getting. So, um, I actually didn't go to the shelter to get another animal, to adopt another animal. I went because I was wanting to find out actually what happened to my dog because she just, you know, died out of nowhere and she didn't have any health problems as far as I knew. So I really just went up because she died on Memorial Day and everything was closed on Memorial Day. So I didn't really, you know, have any answers when she actually passed and I had to wait for them to be open and it took me a couple of days to process everything because I had some other stuff going on in my life at the time. So when I went to the shelter, I basically was going up there trying to figure out how I could get some answers as to what happened to her, which I you know, did get answers what they think um, happened. So uh, I have my clothes worked out. But while I was up there, since I was up there with animals and I love animals, I decided to, you know, look at the little doggies and the kitties and with no intentions of like getting one or getting close to one just to play and, you know, feel, you know, love on another animal. And I saw this kitten while we were there. She is gray. She's a crazy tabby with blue eyes, and I immediately, uh, well, first I seen the sister because they bought a lot of them. So there was one that it looked like my cat that I already have, Garfield. He's an orange tabby, and it looked like a smaller version of him, but the cat had blue eyes. And I, I love my Garfield to pieces, but I've always been like, God, uh, Garfield or Booty Boo, because I call him Booty Boo. I wish you had blue eyes because his eyes are like this really deep orange they're gorgeous but like sometimes i look at him like dang if you have blue eyes like you'd be fire you could just look into my soul and get whatever you want and so um that cat actually had it but because it was a male i don't want to bring another male cat into the house because i feel like they're gonna you know i felt like the, uh, garfield would be territorial anyway and i didn't want to add to that tension by the cat being another male and um even with that being said, like I was thinking the process that processing it, even though I didn't actually have any designs to like bring home an animal period. I was just thinking along lines, like if I do, this is not going to work because he's male, even though he was gorgeous and they named him Romeo. So um, next to Romeo, there was a girl cat because I looked at my husband at that point. And I was like, well, if I do this again, like I want to have a female cat. I'm not going to get a male and needs to be female because even though Odin was a dog, she was female and there was reason I got a, fe a dog like it's me, the cat who's a male and my husband like there's too much testosterone around me I want, you know, a girl so uh, I actually uh, there was another tabby next to Romeo who's an orange tabby like my Garfield with blue eyes but she was gray and uh, like around here we had like this whole Garfield thing going because you know we had Garfield already, so when we got the dog, I'm like, hey, Odie, it's perfect. Like, her name was actually Odette, but we would call her Odie. And so, like, if Odie had still been alive and I was getting the cat, the cat that I was looking at actually would have been, like, a normal, you know, because it's that color. But I'm over the Garfield names, and no, that's not her name. Um, I will actually do another video when I have her, and I will tell you her name. I don't know. I might sneak peek in this one and put the blog up first don't know haven't decided yet um but yeah so there was another cat next to him that looked like a normal so gray blue eyes and it was a girl but she had um some kind of infection going on with her eye which they were giving her jaws for and because i what you know just happened with my dog i didn't want to run the chance of like having a sick animal that i'm taking home from the shelter and then something happening to it I, I didn't think i could go through that again so i saw they said that there was a bunch of them and then i looked down and of course there's another 
Romeo, but with a different name, his brother, and then another gray tabby cat, which is the sister to the cat that I was looking at that's next to Romeo, and on her name tag, they have her name as Alexis, so for now, we'll call her Alexis, um, <laughs> so I started playing with her, and she, I really took to her, and I just was like, you know what, this is what happened when I got Garfield, like, some stuff you can't ignore, and she just had like a personality for that little bit of time that I was playing with her. Like, yeah, she she fits and this is going to work on her take her home. So, you know, we did the, the paperwork that day to, you know, do the application basically um, so that they could have our information to come check the house because the town we live in is small. So they send the person from the shelter, like the cops, because it's kind of weird, like, if you call the shelter and you can't get the shelter, you'll get the police station. And it's set up like that on purpose. Um, so we did the paperwork to set up them to come to the house, which they've been to our house before because we had gotten Garfield and Odie from there. But they have to come, you know, every time just to make sure, you know, stuff is not shady. Plus, like right now, I live in a three-bedroom apartment, which on our lease, we can only have two pets and so they had to even though they knew like Odie died they still had to check with the manager make sure you know the manager knows that there's another pet coming in and what's going on and so they did all that and I was sad because like this didn't all happen last week but I'm kind of glad because when uh, the lady came back to the house I didn't know the first time when we got Odie that like we could take Garfield up there to like have a play date interact or whatever before we bring an animal home. So we tried that today. It did not go well. <laughs> I've never seen him act like that. Um, I think it's just going to be something that's going to have to be with time. But at least I have access, you know, to the questions that I already had, which is why we took him because I was leery about bringing um, Alexis home and she's so tiny because when we got Garfield, he was about 12 weeks and she's about nine. So she's, and she's super tinier then I don't know if it's because she's younger than a little bit younger or just she's just tiny in general than him because Garfield was tiny and fit in my hand when he came home and she's tinier than him so um, I was leery about the fact that okay like if when I bring her home I don't want her like is he gonna know that that's a kid even though like he's like probably just like barely a teenager now uh, and then Odie, of course, when I had Odie, Odie's a dog, so we knew off top they wasn't going to get along because dogs and cats don't get along, but they worked it out or whatever. So because it was another cat specifically, I was leery about it. So I was like, you know what? When the, when the lady came to do the inspection, she let us know at that point that we could bring him up there to do that. So we did that today. It was an absolute disaster. He was hissing and acting crazy. He's never done that. So now I, I you know, I know that when she comes home, definitely have to keep them separated in the time the interaction that they have will need to be monitored and I'm probably gonna have to keep her you know someplace different from them from him just until you know she gets big enough to be able to defend herself in case he like does something or B that he just gets on with it like he did with Odie with Odette uh, before she passed so uh, we just came from the shelter, and I got this bag. They always give you <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff, or not like this, but they always give you like cat treats and like a bag that has information or certain little zoom zooms and win wins for the cast. Like not too serious, but the lady actually gave me this bag. I was already looking at the bag because I was like, ooh, that's a cute bag just because it's pink and it has flamingos. And so, like, when I was signing the paperwork, my husband wanted to go to the car. And so, when he went to the car, she was like, I'm supposed to give this back to somebody to take this back. So, basically, what this video is, is going to be a haul of what's in this bag, which is all cat stuff. And I just wanted to do it before she comes home and before, you know, you got, uh, with the to coincide with the vlog and all that because I did take some video today of us playing with her and I will do some more because I very much it's Saturday today so I very much intend to go back up there probably Monday and maybe Tuesday too but even if I don't go both days either Monday or Tuesday I will be going back up there to play with her some more uh, because uh, the town we live in is small so there the vet is only here on Wednesday so basically like when you adopt an animal you have all these days leading up to it and then Wednesday they 
take them out there because they have a big problem in this town about animals being born out in the well and the main, and there's cats everywhere and they're uh, picking them up which is probably what happened to Alexis's mother she probably was born in the well had kittens so they don't play around this town when you adopt they take them like when you pick them up they are spayed and neutered and uh <laughs> um what you call it they get they chip them so for miss alexis she will be going wednesday to uh get her surgery and then i'll be picking her up directly after that um uh, which i've done before i did it with garfield i did it with odette only in garfield's case they for some reason i don't know why they did not neuter garfield garfield is not neutered um so he like i don't know if it's because she's a girl because even Odie was a girl, so I, I think with the boys, it, it may be different because Gar Garfield isn't fixed in any way. But both the dog that I that died, Odie, and um, Alex that's coming, the cat, will be spayed. And she is a great tabby, in case I forgot to say that. But yeah, I'll be picking her up on Wednesday. So basically, uh, I'm just going to go through this bag and open up like this first thing. It actually didn't come in this bag. My husband just put it in here because we... The, our neighbor um, knocked on our door yesterday, which yet Friday and Saturdays is our just we're finna lay in the bed, possibly maybe probably with no clothes on, even if we're not doing nothing because we're at home and we can. Day that's our day. Like we lay there and we do nothing. We watch TV or I sleep and he watches TV, and that's just our do nothing day. Spend time with each other, and so she <laughs> knocked on the door to give us this like she brings us pet stuff I get that she doesn't use sometimes because when I have Odie she had given us a whole bunch of uh, training pads a whole bunch of the poop bags which I intend to keep because um, we probably will be moving not too long from now because my husband's income will be going up basically and the apartments that we live in now are kind of like by your income so I'm assuming that when he gets this income increase it's going to result in us having to move, which is fine because we're still going to, you know, try to get a three-bedroom, maybe a house this time. My husband has some uh, things in the works right now uh, that hopefully they pan out, which we need a house for. So, um, yeah, she knocked on our door, and she was, uh, I heard her talk to my husband because I didn't come out, and she gave him this, which it came in perfect because, like, I tried to let Garfield play with this and it's kind of funny because Garfield looks exactly like this cat that's on this box this is not my cat um um but yeah she I put it down on the floor for him last night and he just kind of looked at it and I because I thought oh maybe it's like a godsend because he had a toy like this which was a cheaper version that I had bought I believe from like 99 cent only when I was in San Diego uh taking care of business out there before I moved before I fully moved out here and I have bought him like a cheap version of this where there's like a mouse inside that you can chase and my husband stepped on it probably like a week and a half ago and it broke so when she gave my husband this one yesterday I was like oh maybe that's like God I like trying to give him a more advanced fancy one but then when I put it down yesterday he treated it just like he treated the other one that was cheap and he didn't want to play with it so now that Alexis is coming and she's a kitten kitten like she's tiny um, I figure she will get more enjoyment out of this than he will basically it's called it's a pet fusion ambush interactive cat toy so basically um i will have to put some new batteries in it because these are probably not going to be good for long basically you push this button and it lights up a and then it sticks out a little feather so that your cat can chase it like it teaches them to hunt or whatever and it'll go back in and then yeah and then at some point, it'll come out of another hole. But it's just a cool little toy that I thought was perfect just in time for Miss Alexis. <laughs> I probably will just tell you guys her name before this video is over. <laughs> um, and then from the, the rest of the stuff is actually from the shelter. Now, this is what they always give you, the um, Temptations. They gave us one of these for Garfield. And it's we've had Garfield for like six months. And it's kind of crazy because... He eats a lot of treats, and we, we give him quite a few treats, but he still has this whole box, like, that's basically unmessed with because we buy him so much other stuff. So she has one now, which I'm glad that they gave a different flavor because the ones that he have are, I think, the beef flavor or something, and these are chicken, so I'll know, like, these are for her. And even if I have to dip and dab between the two, like, they can share. <laughs> 
uh, then in this bag, they gave us one of these before too. But it was kind of funny because when we got Garfield, they actually gave us the wrong one. They gave us one for a dog. And we had a bunch of dog stuff that we couldn't use. And then we gave it away. Um, and then when we actually did get Odie, like, months later, we didn't have any dog things. And I had to go out and buy everything. So this actually also has the same kind of treats, but in a bag. Temptations. And this is uh, Waken Bacon. So this one must taste like bacon. They go crazy for these. Like, I seen the commercial and I was like, this can't be what they, uh, they can't feed over. Like, this dick cats really do. This, this stuff is like crack for them. So she, now there's a Waken Bacon, which I'm probably going to try this on Garfield once she gets here and I open it. And then, because I've never seen this one before, so I'll try it on both of them. And then this one is hers. The, the one I just showed you is chicken flavor. And the one that he has that looks like this is like beef. Or something like that so between the two of them they have quite a few treats then they gave us this um air wick scented oil warmer which i see these all the time at dollar general and it's a pet peeve of mine because they never have the insole so now i'm gonna have to order the insole to try to wait for them to come to dollar street because i actually like we take very good care of our pets they never have a smell to them like the couple of times garfield you know, his his litter was going bad, and my husband was kind of slacking because he was kind of busy or whatever. And no, Garfield stays clean. Like I cannot take and all that smells. I've had people come into my house that have alert allergies to cats. I even like low key have allergies to cats. And I was taking pills at first when I first got Garfield, but then it like subsided because my allergy was not serious, serious. But I've had people like with serious allergies come in my house, and they had no reaction because. The truth is, if you're not a nasty person and you clean up behind your pets and you keep your house free of hair and, like, you're a cleanly person and you take good care of your pets, people that have allergies will not be affected when they come in your house. And nobody that I've ever known uh, that has had an allergy to an animal has come here and had a reaction at all. They didn't even know there was animals here until, like, Garfield would come out of a corner somewhere or Ordy would come. So... Um, for these, I really don't even use for smell of pets. I actually would just use these in my bathroom because, you know, people like to go in there and blow it up. And I like to have these in there so that you don't have to spray all the time when you come out of there. So that I'm going to be probably very soon ordering, uh, ordering the inserts. And see this? Yeah, they did it again. This is what happened in the last bag. But the last bag, when I got it, it was all dog stuff. So they gave us some dog stuff. And I will put this up. Because like I said, when we have to move, which I'm assuming uh, will happen when my husband gets his increase on his money, I very much intend to get another dog. But I want to be able to have it to where I can put the dog outside. Because the apartment I have, you can have them. But the truth is, they're really like a you can have them as long as they're not seen and not heard kind of thing. And that's no way, you know to have a pet and even with Odie it was bothering me because I could like she likes going outside but there's kids in here and they'd be jumping over our gates and even though the kids are doing what they're doing I thought I just knew because I know how people are like okay and when she bites one of these kids because they're jumping over our fence and being aggressive to her even though she's barking at them and they're little kids like five six seven year olds like it doesn't matter that this kid is jumping over my fence my dog they're gonna be trying to put my dog down so I bought her inside which to this day, and it's only been, it hasn't even been a month yet. It's only been a couple weeks. Like, I, there's a part of me that feels kind of some, some way about it, like, because I brought her inside. And basically what I think happened is she, she we always had a problem with her, like, eating tr the training pads and the padding or whatever, just to be disobedient because she didn't want the pad there to pee. Um, I think what happened is because she was inside and I put the pad down in her um, kennel so that she you know, with Pete, I'm going on the pad and she ate some of it. What I think and what they think is that she had a blockage, which caused her, you know, and they don't get rid of it easy, and which caused her ultimately uh, to have a heart attack and die. So I I will get another dog. I'm just not going to do it while we're here. I, I refuse because I don't want to go through that again. Um, and so the other thing that they gave us, which I see this all the time at Walmart, <laughs> and I never picked it up for Garfield because I thought it looked cheap. But for her, this will work for right now until I get her a uh, 
a real one like uh we have for Garfo. Garfo has two of them. He has one in the living room that's like Christmas decorated and one uh, one in our bedroom for when he actually comes in there so that he can scratch up on it. And I found for, that that works because he does not scratch up on our furniture and stuff. I think only like one time, which was actually yesterday when the lady came to check the house for this new cat that's coming. Um, he like, I don't know if he sent something was going to change or what was going on or he was just mad because I wouldn't let him in my room yesterday. He had scratched up the couch. And Garfield really never scratched up our furniture because he has scratching posts. So I found that for real, like scratching posts do keep them from scratching up your furniture. Like it for real works. If you have a cat, you need to get them a lot of scratching things around your house so that they do not use your furniture and your nice things as scratching things. So for her, um, for right now, this will do because, like I said, she fits in the palm of my hand. She's super tiny, and this will work for her right now, <laughs> which, like I said, I think it's funny because I always pack you right up in Walmart or D D Dollar General or Dollar Tree because I'm like, this is cheap, but for her, this will work, and it has the catnip on it. Like, you put the cat, the catnip is supposed to be, like, crack for them. With Garfield, I never know because for him... If it is supposed to be like crack, then he's intolerant to it because I've sprayed, I bought like this diluted catnip spray and sprayed it on things and that does not make him play with it. If he doesn't want to play with it, he's not going to play with it even with the catnip on it. So for her, I'll try it and I think she's going to like this. <laughs> um, and then they also, what's in here, gave some more snacks, uh, more treats. These are like softer ones, I think because she's a baby. Um... The Purina, and I love Purina. Everything that we have in this house is Purina, down to the kitty litter. Um, even when we had Odie, all her stuff was Purina. I heavily mess with Purina because it's very good. And to me, it's it's not like super healthy. If you're one of those people that's just super healthy for your cat, which I think is absolutely ridiculous because they still should enjoy things. like. But, I mean, I can't. Like I said, that's my opinion because even people that have children that are like vegan, like you can't hate them for that. But I'm not a believer in like depriving my, my cat of things. Like I want it to be healthy as possible, but not so super healthy that like to me, I wouldn't, if it was, if my cat was a child, I wouldn't feed them like that. So I'm not going to feed my cat like that, but these are healthy basically without being super healthy. So, um. I've never actually tried the soft and delicious before on Garfo, so this will be interesting when Alexis comes and uh, I give them to her. But this is in chicken and cheese flavors, soft and delicious. It has a happy cat on it, so hopefully it'll be a hit. And then they gave us this party mix, uh, Seafood Lover's Crunch, which is Purina uh, Friskies. And I have a feeling that she's going to go crazy for this. Because I remember one time, I only bought this for Garfield one time. And it was when, Garfield is bougie. Let me just put that out there. I'm hoping that this cat won't be. Garfield is like ghetto bougie though. Like, because certain stuff like this, like he doesn't like hard food. And he's been actually having an attitude for like the last uh, two or three weeks. Because I've just... Stop giving him wet food altogether because it got ridiculous to where he was scratching up the floor and I started having to lock him up at night because in the morning, like I would give him wet food once a day to give him a differential from the dry food. When we got him when he was a kitten, he refused um, to eat dry food. But I think a lot of that thing too was because he was still a kitten. He was still getting his teeth. It's very hard for them to chew. So when they're a kitten, it's better for you to give them wet food. So at that point, I just started... Uh, I didn't stop giving him dry food, but I gave him the option. Like, he had a dry food dispenser, and he had a wet food bowl, a wet food bowl, which he still has. So, as he got older, though, I stopped giving him wet food, stopped giving him the option so much of just wet food. Because the wet food is basically there for when they are younger to when they age up so that it is soft for them to chew because they're babies. Garfield is not a baby anymore, so for the last three weeks um he hasn't been getting it just because you know sometimes money gets tight and I have other things to do and like he needed to stop being so spoiled because it was getting to the point like he was spoiled spoiled like having tantrums I've never seen a cat have a tantrum and just tear up stuff and just do stuff and jump off walls and stuff because they don't have stuff and I was like oh no like if he was a real kid I wouldn't be dealing with this this is like a tantrum and I'm not gonna deal with this so we finna find out who's boss around here so for three weeks he hasn't gotten it he's just been dry food 
And he's been doing okay with that. So I'm kind of like debating going back to his regimen. I think I'm leaning more towards just doing it because he might be more appreciative now and not so demanding. Uh, <laughs> and because like the truth is he's, he's um, losing, he's lost a lot of his baby teeth already. But because he's still losing them is why I'm kind of warm enough to the idea of soft enough. Like, okay, I can give him wet food. He won't act so crazy because I don't want him, you know, hurting himself trying to chew it. So, um, but it was crazy because, like, he only wants certain types of wet food. And I bought him some pate ones because, you know, I wanted him to be booty to that. He sniffed it and he walked away. And I have bought cases of this stuff. And, no, he would leave it sitting there every day. So I was like, you know what? No more. But now when I get it for him, I know not to buy him pate. But um, as far as this is concerned, like, I know anything seafood, even though uh, I don't know about Miss... Alexis, I'll learn about her when she gets here, but I know as far as Garfield is concerned, he doesn't even really, before the last three weeks, he didn't even really technically mess with his dry food a lot, but if it was seafood flavor, he would go crazy. So, uh, I'm thinking in my hand that that's going to be a banger right there for her. Then they gave us these interactive toys, which <laughs> I was kind of talking to my husband like, well, God really was like, okay, no, you guys don't need to spit anyway, because I was literally about to leave the shelter and go to Dollar Tree or some little cheap store to get some toys like this, probably Walmart or Dollar Tree, because of the fact that Garfield acted the way he acted in there. I was like, oh no, them sharing toys is not going to happen. I'm going to have to separate them, which is what I wanted to know anyway. Like, so she's going to need her own stuff. She would have needed her own things anyway. Like, don't get it twisted. I'm not trifling. They wouldn't have been sharing forever. But I thought, like, just in the beginning, maybe they would be able to, you know, share things. But nope. Mm -mm. So... I didn't, she, since she gave me the bag and I seen these were in here, I was like, you know what? I'm not going anywhere. I'm going home. So she has some little interactive toys, which I have a feeling these are, like, for Garfield, these ones are the ones he loves the best. These, like, coily looking ones that, like, make noise. And the ones with, because even the ones, he has bigger ones because he's a bigger cat. And I'm kind of glad they gave us these little ones because she's so tiny. So uh, she grows grow into them. And then when she grows up, grows bigger, like his size, I can get her actual size balls like what Garfield has. Uh, but, yeah, like, he, Garfield doesn't even too much play with these, and these he loves to pieces, so I'm feeling for her, this is going to be a banger too, um, what else we got in here, um, I saw, I saw this when I first opened the bag, which I'm so glad that this is in here, because I've been, I don't know if that's a blessing, or like, I don't know how to say that, but like, all of my pets, Garfield, Odie, and, um, uh, probably now her, but the ones I already already had Garfield sleep with little toys like this. Like, they, uh, when I visited my mom in San Diego when I was born to take care of my business and I was staying at my mom's house and I had to take my pets with me because I didn't have a sitter, which was, Odie was still alive, and I had Garfield. Garfield has a little squeak toy like this. His is, like, specifically made for a cat where it has catnip inside and it's Garfield. Like, it's a gar actual Garfield little toy. He loves that toy. He sleeps with that toy. He goes crazy when he cannot find that toy because he sleeps with it. And Odie, it was the same thing. It was this little um, lamb thing that I had bought her before we got her because I had all her stuff, you know, before she came here. And I went all out because I was so excited, clothes, all that stuff <laughs> um, because she was a dog. And I was excited about dressing her up and just having something female around here. So everything was pink and whatever. But she had this little lamb toy. That it was made for a dog. I think I got it from like a Dollar Tree or something. But she loved that toy. And that was her version of Garfield. Garfield toy that he can't sleep with. She, I would put a blanket in there with her. And her little lamb toy. And she'd go to sleep. And my mom was very impressed by it. Because she said she had never seen that with a pet like that. They were like kids basically. And I do treat them like my kids. So in Miss Alexis's case. I have a feeling this is going to be her. Um sleep toy because basically I haven't got her a bed yet that will not be in this haul I will show that all to you in the vlog by the time she gets here um because I was just going to use one of Gar Garfield has a couple of beds like because he's grown so basically what I was going to do is um 
wash out his old kitten bed that he had and just give it to her. But then as the time got on and then after today and Garfield, you know, knows that that's still his, his little baby bed and we keep it in his carrier for when we travel so that we don't have to take his main bed with us. I don't want to change that. So I decided to just forego, you know, washing it and giving it to her um and get her her own bed plus she's a girl i want to get something pink or something fruit fruit girly so i'm just gonna buy her her own bed which i'll get online either today probably today and tomorrow and then you know check the stores if i don't find something that i like online that's gonna be here by wednesday because she needs to have it by wednesday so basically my only concern right now is if i can't get this by wednesday online i will be finding a store probably walmart because i went to dollar general today and they didn't have like any cute colors for a girl it was boy colors and I want I don't want her to have boy colors so um if I don't find something online that can be here by Wednesday then I will be going to Walmart and finding her something but this will be going in her bed <laughs> because I have a feeling she's not going to be no different than the other two like and she will have her little blanket like yes my my pets sleep with blankets um already had a pink blanket Garfield right now has this orange blanket that we had a uh, it was basically like a big snuggy type blanket that was given to us, but it had a little tiny blanket in the inside. So I was like, okay. And he was still little at that time. And we were trying to wean him from like trying to sleep with us and all that. And so basically what we did, because we were sleeping in the blanket, we scented it up and we sent it up the little part. And we basically like weaned him that way, put the little orange one in his bed where it had our scent on it that he knew he could feel safe and not have to sleep with us. So she will um get a blanket as well. I probably will just go um to like a sal if I don't find one at Walmart or something, I'll probably go to like Salvation Army or something buy her one. But I will definitely be putting this in here because she will definitely have the same bed to her routine as the other pets where I just be like, Okay, it's time to go to sleep now. Put your baby in your bed and your blanket, lay down, go night night. <laughs> just like kind of kids. So I'm glad that they gave that to her. Plus, I love lamb chop. I was just watching an old lamb chop video the other day. So the next thing that I have in here is kind of like the same thing as um, the first thing that I showed you with the lights where the ball spins around, but they're, they're where the feather comes out. But this one has the feather inside right here where you can play with it, and it has balls rotating in the inside. So um, I'm not going to put out all these toys for her at once because you also don't want to overstimulate them because that's what I did with Garfield like when we moved in when I got Garfield we had just moved to this town we lived in a trailer it was very small he didn't have very much toys in there he basically like for because we celebrated Christmas we were still in the trailer he basically got a scratching post and this other like purple toy that he could sit on top and move and like I think two other toys that we gave him Christmas and because that space was so small and he didn't really have much to do in there anyway and he never went outside he was for it but then when we moved here like I went buck wild crazy bought him a cat house um every probably everything except what he still doesn't have which is one of those cat condo tree things which I'm which uh at some point because we're getting Alexis I am going to buy a couple of those because he is Garfield is at least at the age where he's, you know, jumping off of stuff and want to jump off stuff. Like today, they have a bunch of them at the shelter. And today, like I was telling my husband, because he was noticing that he didn't want to jump off of them and he was acting funny. And I was like, I don't think that's because he doesn't want to play with it. I just think he's just being an a-hole because he doesn't want to be here. And he doesn't like the fact that he knows that another animal is coming home and this is strange for him. So when, um, in the next couple of months, depending on, you know, when we find out we have to move or not, I will be getting him a cat condo because I basically don't want to buy one of those things until I'm in a situation where it's permanent and I'm not moving for a while. So he will be getting one of those fairly soon. But um, as far as this, like, I probably will just uh, keep this bagged up some of this stuff, some of these toys until we move because she doesn't need to be like overly stimulated. And we also have like stuff like this that we already have from Garfield which this um he has another one so I'm probably just gonna get batteries for this one and use this one for her specifically it's like a little laser the laser is like halfway dead as y'all can see because it needs batteries but they have stuff like that but like again you don't want to just put a whole bunch of stuff around them and overstimulate them because then they won't play it will take them a while to play with stuff and then they'll be like Garfield where well, they just are so spoiled that they don't play with nothing and see like they then gave me another one, so she actually does have 
her own own and that could just be for both of them or whatever so this is the same thing it's just packed <laughs> a laser and it these you know Garfield goes crazy for this so I have a feeling she will be no different and then uh, more treats friskies party mix uh cat treats crunch wild west beef liver ch and cheddar flavors so yeah this lady today gave me this bag wild out and gave me all these snacks which this is not real food because <laughs> i'm not gonna lie when i first got garfield they gave me the bag i thought this was real food i didn't read it i just seen that it was food and i didn't read the fact that it was treats like this is all none of this is food and her food actually um I bought her some wet food, some cans, and you know, wet food to feed her. But this stuff, like all this stuff that I've shown you, this is not actual food. Like, don't give this to your cat on a regular basis. These are treats. <laughs> um, for You can use them for training. Um, they do work pretty good for that. My husband has tried it with Garfield a lot. And then lastly um, is this little flicker brush which I'm glad they gave this to me because I was actually just thinking like wow I don't have a, a brush for her for when it's time for her to have a bath because she will be having surgery to get fixed she won't be able to be bathed I think it was if I remember correctly for Odie for 10 days which is probably about 10 days to like two weeks um with Odie I waited about two and a half weeks um but she I know she won't be able to get bathed right away and shampoo wise like I'm there's certain stuff that because I try to be frugal and it's not necessary for me to buy stuff separately for them. Like Garfield doesn't get bathed. I used to bathe Garfield every month. I don't do that anymore because they, it's not necessary for you to bathe them like that because cats naturally groom themselves. And um, in Garfield's case, the only reason I can be honest about that, the only reason like he still is back now to getting baths is because he needs to be groomed. And my husband doesn't feel comfortable to do it. And right now, um, we're, like I said, about to be in the process of getting an uh, increase, which we know we're going to have to move. There's other things going on in our life. There's other adventures that he has going on that we're trying to get into work. So, like, I'm trying to not have to spend money that's not necessary. And so he hasn't been, gr he's not been clipped and groomed. Like, his hair is very long. And probably at some point I'm going to get sick of it and take some scissors and just start cutting around. Because tech, like for health and sanitary reasons, you are supposed to keep them groomed around their butt. Because otherwise, like, they get dirty very easily going in their little box and doing their business. Because, like, the other day that happened, like, he went in there, he did his business, and then he was just walking around. And it kind of, that day it did have a smell. Like I said, when there's a smell in here, I always know, like, okay, something's going on because they I never have pets with smell, but he, I could smell it. And I thought, and I knew it wasn't coming from the actual litter because the litter was in the bathroom and my husband had just changed it. So I was like, uh-uh, he bring him here. And when we, we checked him, it was because his hair had gotten so long around his butt, like some of his feces had caught there. My husband had to like go get the cat wipes and wipe it off. So for those reasons, like, I, Garfield is starting to get more baths than he usually do, which is like maybe once a month <laughs> and not even, you know, sometimes real baths. Like sometimes he will just take wipes and make sure he's clean. That's on an everyday basis anyway, just because we're not clipping him because my husband doesn't feel comfortable to take, you know, clippers to him, which I keep telling him like, you hold him and I'll do it, <laughs> but he doesn't want to do that. So for her, I'm glad that they gave me this brush because at least, like, she's she's a baby and her hair is not that long because she's a baby. And by the time we get situated, she will never, she probably will never experience what Garfield is experiencing right now because I will just make it a mission to just take them to the groomers. Uh, whatever the time period is, I should take, post them to the groomers. I will do that. But I'm glad they gave us the brush because at least now when I, when I give her her first bath, I don't have to go out and buy one and I don't have to you know make them share stuff like that because stuff like that like no I'm not gonna make them share I think that's disgusting but like soap and stuff that like there's no neat reason for me to go buy another bar of soap because it's just two of y'all and it's enough and y'all are not getting bathed like on an everyday basis where I'm gonna run out like yes she's just gonna use the same soap 
same little uh, mouth spray and technically I just do that because they little breath <laughs> like when a baby drinks milk it helps sometimes you'd be like oh his little breath is sour because he drank the milk and you just need to wash off their little gums whatever I use the breath spray for that thing you don't really have to do that with um, cats it's not really necessary until they're older um, but I just like to do it because I like when their breath smells good so basically that's it all that's left is this cute little bag which I'm going to put all this stuff back in um, basically that is it for this video like I said there will be a vlog of her she's so cute I think you know what I am missing something because I bought her little name plate so let me check it I'm glad I did this I have bought I bought her little um name plate thing and now I don't see it so it might have dropped in the car because then I could tell you Miss Ma'am name. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Pause for dramatic effects. I'm going to pause this so I can go to the car and find it. Plus, there is something else that I have forgot about, so I will be right back. Okay, I found what I was looking for. So, um, I have bought this beforehand. This is her little collar chain where you put it around her neck. She's going to be too small for this for a while. Um, I'm going to have to basically put it on the lowest thing and then let her grow into it. But what I was looking for is her name tag. And it basically that's have my phone number on the back. This is going to go on her neck. So I will keep you guys in suspense about Miss Ma'am's name. That will be revealed in the video. But other than that, that's it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm really excited about her. Garfield's over here in the corner looking like, what in the world are you doing? But that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.